Astle, and I'm Perkin Elmer's Global Market Manager for Cannabis and Hemp. Thank you all for joining us today at Perkin Elmer's Cannabis and Hemp Science Seminar. I'm excited to share information and updates across the portfolio that are helping cannabis and hemp scientists improve data quality. We're joined by our partners, and you'll be learning of all the different assays typically found in a compliance setting. There'll be a live Q&A at the end, but before that, I'd like to start and just provide some insight at a high level and then dive into the details on some of the approaches labs can now use to simplify their pesticide and mycotoxin testing in an ISO 17025 or GMP compliance environment. If we take a snapshot of the globe, we now see that working with cannabis and hemp is an exciting opportunity for scientists. That there are now legal markets on every continent. Yes, every jurisdiction, country, and state has a different set of rules, but to the scientists, this is exciting because we can collaborate and work together to make innovative products for human wellness and medical um, needs. What you'll see here is we've also seen a wide variety of sample types. This does sometimes pose challenges in the laboratory as we need to appreciate the matrix of the cannabis or hemp sample as we go to test it for things like pesticides, mycotoxins, heavy metals, and other. Since it is a plant, we also have to understand and appreciate that there are a number of different constituents in the flower and thus the product, chlorophyll, waxes, cannabinoids, contaminants. So a lot of science to talk about and understand approaches to successfully quantify these constituents. What we can also see is the rapid growth in cannabis and hemp, in particular, we saw acceleration in the U.S. over the last few years as multiple U.S. states legalized either a recreational or medicinal market for cannabis. We now have also a national CBD market with the development of the Farm Bill and the USDA. What we also have seen is the volumes of testing in each state and lab are going up due to the increased consumer and patient demand. This provides a great opportunity for labs to look at how they can more efficiently test samples so that they can meet their clients' needs. And we routinely work with labs that are looking to test thousands of samples a month. What we've also seen is press around unfavorable data or challenges in the compliance framework. And this is putting a lot of pressure on labs to make sure that they invest and partner with the right suppliers to provide compliant workflows from day one. I'm excited to share some of the per canal portfolio to meet these specific needs. But let's just pause. And I think all of us have to appreciate that what we want to see in this industry is that a quality and safe product reaches the consumer. We can look at some data published by California Cannabis Commission to show what batches are failing and what reasons they're failing for. Of, the, of one of the highest is the presence of pesticides. And we've seen that supported by some of the work out of our partners on the West Coast who have summarized the top pesticides that are typically present in a failing sample. We've taken this insight and worked with our application team to make sure that we can offer workflows that are fit for purpose to those state or country specific testing requirements. And what we believe is that our clients want to have accurate and 
defensible data that they can present to their clients. Certificate of analysis are incredibly important in the cannabis and hemp industry so that product and quality can be assessed throughout the life cycle. If a sample fails, there needs to be the confidence and that test was performed accurately and can be justified in that compliance framework. This is our goal to provide technologies that can drive accurate and quality COAs that can be used across the various testing assays. And how do we get to a quality and accurate COA? What we see is that it takes a combination of technologies and approaches in the lab. And I've summarized them here today. Firstly, we're going to talk about the choice around reagents and consumables, in particular, certified reference materials. We'll also then pivot to the instrumentation available and also leveraging automation. And finally, looking at what software is available to manage and move data accurately. We'll also discuss that we are seeing challenges around personnel availability, particularly during the pandemic, and retention, and how we can now use technology to automate some of the more mundane sample preparation procedures. Today, I'd like to focus on one of the more challenging chemistry assays in cannabis and hemp, and that's quantifying pesticide and mycotoxin residues. We look at the US and also to Canada to the north, every state and country has a different pesticide and mycotoxin testing requirement. This has been an exciting area to work in over the last few years, as we need to invest in application scientists to make sure we can appreciate the subtleties between each state or country. I'll focus on California today as it has one of the more comprehensive pesticide lists, but we have worked with all the states you've seen here and many more. But what's common in all those areas or states is that we see a lot of error introduced into the sample prep procedure from the human variability. We know that handling cannabis samples can be difficult, and we know that each individual has a slightly different approach to doing the same task. There are data and peer-reviewed publications that show a lot of the error introduced into the final COA can come from sample handling and sample processing. This was the opportunity we saw in developing a portfolio to minimize or even reduce sample prep error. And where we chose to start is by looking at the reagents and consumables required in that sample preparation workflow. We recognize that many labs struggle to accurately produce and prepare standards and calibration curves from a multitude of suppliers. What we are able to do is look at the state and country regulatory requirements and create a mixture of pesticides and mycotoxins that are ready to go out of the vial. No need for any dilutions or mixing. These eight point ISO 17034 reagents can be used directly out of the freezer onto your LCMSMS or GCMSMS. And in some detail, what you get in the kit are 77 pesticides and five mycotoxins pre-mixed at a predefined calibration curve, starting at one parts per billion going all the way up to 250 parts per billion. The kit also includes a second source, as well as quality control standards, such as ICB, CCV, and LCS vials. 
these allow you to implement a robust reagent program from one supplier. And as I mentioned, their instrument platform agnostic being used on both LCMSMS and GCMSMS. Each kit comes with an ISO certificate of analysis that gives a defined concentration for each analyte at each calibration point. In addition to the pesticide and mycotoxin CRM, we also realized that the most robust and economical approach to testing cannabis and hemp samples and dealing with the matrix influence and suppression is to use internal standards. So we're excited to bring out a pre-formatted internal standard mix that includes 30 deuterated pesticide internal standards. This can be used to account for the suppression we see across cannabis and hemp samples and allow you to generate more accurate data. In both kits, they're ready to use straight out of the freezer. And really, it's just a matter of letting them come to room temperature over a few minutes before they can be used on the instrument. If we look at the legacy prep workflow, we see that labs are often spending up to 90 minutes preparing their calibration and quality control standards. In a busy cannabis lab, this represents a significant time savings when using these pre-formatted CRM kits. And we made sure to verify that these kits are fit for purpose in the cannabis markets we've identified. And they are part of the overall technology offering from Perkinama that includes the verified method for that state and the analytical platforms such as the QSight 420 LCMSMS. Together, these produce a workflow that allows you to accurately determine pesticide and mycotoxin residue. And where possible, we put this to the test, participating in multiple proficiency tests such as the Emerald test and also the recent NIST test, passing and being awarded the badges to show that we have an accurate workflow. So now that we've talked about reagents and consumables, how can we start taking the burden of preparing hundreds of samples a day off the lab operator's bench? And what we looked at were the other markets Perkinama serves and how we've automated those workflows. With the recent pandemic, a lot of diagnostic technology was used to improve lab efficiency without the need for more personnel. We saw this as an opportunity in cannabis and hemp and took that as the foundation to build a fully automated cannabis and hemp sample preparation platform that can be integrated into that analytical workflow. This reduces the amount of time you need to spend in front of the sample preparation bench. And what that looks like is a combination of platforms you see here. We start by having integration to the analytical balance that exports the exact weight into the software. This is then carried over through the cloud-based SaaS software to the Janus 420, which is the sample preparation platform. Here, the flower sample is completely prepared autonomously. Once that's completed, a two milliliter HPLC vial is then carried over in the order sampler tray and directly deposited on the LCM SMS. All this is controlled by software and data management that allows you to track and monitor the data from start to finish. It also allows you to implement compliance regimes such as ISO 17025, CFR Part 11, or GMP. And let's take a little closer look at the actual sample preparation platform. What you see here is a unique cannabis and hemp workflow solution. This is a fully automated platform that includes vortexing, centrifuging, dilutions, filtering, 
allowing you to take a cannabis sample from flower to a final two milliliter vial in a matter of minutes. Workflow can automate and prepare 48 samples in less than two hours. And Perkin Elmer has spent a lot of time optimizing the consumables and the methodology required for this prep. There's no need to do any SPE or catches cleanup. And just to demonstrate that we're ready to deliver in these compliant environments, here is data for the California pesticide testing requirements. As you can see, 48 samples were prepared and fell within the requirements for that state recovery and accuracy parameters, giving us the confidence that, confidence that we can set these workflows up to meet demanding workflow needs. So now we've taken care of the sample, we also want to now look at the data, as we know that as sample volumes increase and the scrutiny on data and audit trails increase, it's critical to have access to that data and have it secured accurately and securely. Long ago, we recall seeing stacks of lab work workbooks on the bench, and that really isn't ideal in a compliant cannabis environment. So what we've used is our knowledge on compliant requirements such as CFR and GMP, and then tailored them to the cannabis and hemp specific workflows. What we've launched is Simplicity Lab 420, which is a cloud-based software that allows you to track and manage all of your data from the initial customer management and order entry, all the way through to sample reporting and the certificate of analysis. We can even connect the Simplicity Lab software to the metric framework if needed in that state or market. And the software goes beyond the pesticide and mycotoxin workflow. We recognize that each of the common assays in the cannabis and hemp lab have a lot of data that needs to be managed. So now leveraging Simplicity Lab 420, you can move and control and review all the data coming from each of the test platforms. We can also integrate additional data from other tests like microbial testing or, or foreign matter or moisture to offer a complete uh, data set for each sample. This software can then be integrated into the incumbent lab limbs and really takes ownership of that analytical workflow on the bench. The outputs of the software, as I mentioned, are a certificate of analysis that you can share to your clients or your auditing body. These can be configured to meet the specific state and country needs, and would be happy to take that conversation up with you at a later date. But let me speak just briefly about how Perkinama approaches the cannabis implementation of new technology in a lab. What we've done is develop specific protocols and processes for installing and qualifying the instruments so that they're ready for a cannabis assay and a cannabis training session. The engineers perform a suitability test with a cannabinoid or a pesticide standard, and only when that is passed successfully do we pass the reins over to the application scientist who has the verified method that they can train the new user to. We also with follow-up service calls for things like preventative maintenance or further training if you have any turnover in the lab. And lastly, I'd just like to highlight that everything I've spoken about today, you can find more information on the website or on our dedicated cannabis social media channels. I'd love to connect with you online, so please don't hesitate to put questions into the presentation or chat box today, or join us for the live Q&A at the end. In summary, Perkinarm is excited to work with all cannabis and hemp labs to improve the quality of the science. And we see that technology around reagents, instrumentation, and data management software are gonna be critical to grow this industry. We wanna empower you to get better data quality, faster, at the right terms for your lab. And I'd be happy to expand on any of these details in the future if you so wish.
Please stick around for the live Q&A at the end of today's session or drop in questions, as I mentioned. And I'd love to connect with you online uh, through my email shown here today. Enjoy the rest of the sessions. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.